Hi everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to bake these lovely summer cupcakes because it's still summer, it's still August and you can make these for like a little gathering that you have before September comes. So what you're going to need to make the cakes are 65 grams of self-raising flour, 75 grams of butter, 65 grams of caster sugar, one egg, mine's a large one, two to three tablespoons of milk and half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. You can also add in about two tablespoons of jam if you wanted to. I added them to mine, but you definitely don't have to if you don't want to. Then you need to preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Mine's a fan oven, so it might be different for gas or electric. I really recommend using one of these electric whisks because it's a lot of hard work on your arms if you don't have one. Um, this was a really cheap one, I think it was from Aldi. To make these cupcakes, it's just really super easy. All you need to do is tip in all the ingredients into your bowl, except for the milk which comes in a bit later, and then just whisk them all together. I start my whisk on low, and then I scrape down the sides of the spatula to make sure it's all in there, and then I add in the milk, a little bit first, and then a little bit more, and then whisk that all together, and it should turn out something like this. This recipe makes six cupcakes, so I'm using my six pan, but if you wanted to make more, you can just double up the recipe or triple it, depending on how many you're making. And I've just got these bun cases from Waitrose, I think. I thought they would go nicely with my summer theme because they're like floral and polka dots and nice pastel colors. So I'm taking my ice cream scoop and I'm putting about one level scoop of the mixture into each muffin case because that makes the cakes rise equally and they are all about the same size that way. So once you've done that, I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of jam into each of my muffin cases. You don't have to do this, this is just optional because I like jam and I wanted my cupcakes to be more like Victoria sponge cakes rather than just plain vanilla cupcakes because I think it adds a bit of extra taste. Then you can just pop them in the oven for about 12 minutes, but you need to keep checking on them because all ovens are completely different. But mine were in for 12 minutes. To make the butter icing, you're gonna need 100 grams of butter, 200 grams of icing sugar, some strawberries chopped up for decoration. I've got a flower cutout that I'm gonna be using for my fondant flowers, some chocolate chips, some piping bags, three different colors of fondant icing and a nozzle of your choice. I use the one on the left for my cupcakes. To be honest, I usually don't use measurements for my butter icing because it is really just trial and error to get it right. I just start with a little bit of butter and then add in the icing sugar gradually until I feel like it's the right kind of consistency to ice with. The way that I can normally tell is if I get a spatula or a spoon or something similar and then just try and form stiff peaks with it by pulling it upwards out of the icing and the peaks will just stay like that, they won't move. Another tip that I always use is to get a piping bag and cut off the end so that you can pop in the nozzle, I'm using this one like I said before, and I just push it down to the end and then I take a large kind of drinking glass or something similar and then just pop the piping bag inside and then pull it down over the edge of the glass. This way, when you put in the icing, it won't get over the top of the icing bag. It will just stay down, which is what you want because it can get quite messy if you start to twist and ice and it comes out the other end. So once you've done that, you want to just push it all down to the end by shaking the bag a bit, twist it at the top, and then you are ready to ice. Once your cupcakes are baked and they're ready to come out of the oven, you just need to leave them to cool on a cooling rack for about 10 to 15 minutes. For mine, I'm just using a classic swirling technique for the icing, starting in the middle and then bringing it out to the edge and going round in a spiral upwards. I'm just going to show you a couple of times so you get the hang of it, but it really is just practice to get it right. Try practicing on greaseproof paper or a plate or something before if you're worried about it looking bad until you feel comfortable doing it onto the cupcake. To decorate half of mine, I'm just taking a strawberry, cutting it in half, and putting that half on top of the cupcake. Really super easy. But for the others, I'm doing something a little bit more complicated. I'm going to be putting fondant flowers on top, like you saw in the beginning of the video. So first of all, I'm going to take the yellow fondant, 
Obviously you can choose whichever colour you want or whichever shape you want, I'm just doing flowers because it's summery but you can really do this kind of technique for any occasion, you could do footballs or love hearts or anything and they don't have to be in any particular colour obviously, just do what you think looks good. So I'm going to take my fondant and flatten them all out into little circular shapes so that they're easy to cut with and then I'm going to take my daisy cutter and just cut out the flowers by pushing down and then pushing the middle of the cutter down as well and then that should come out in a perfect flower shape and then I can just pop it out onto my hand like that and then you've got your flower. Because I decided to decorate three of my cupcakes this way, I am doing three of each colour so that they can have one of each colour on each cupcake, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the water and then brush on the back of the flower. The water acts a bit like glue so it sticks nicely to the cupcake. So I just pushed in quite firmly with my flowers so that they kind of stand up against each other and they don't fall flat onto the cupcake. For the middle of the flowers I'm just taking some white chocolate chips and putting a drop of water in the middle of each flower and sticking the chocolate chip in the middle. I'm also going to take some treat chocolate sauce to just drizzle over the ones with strawberries on them because who doesn't love strawberries with chocolate? For an extra special touch you can put your cupcakes in these singular cupcake boxes to give as a gift to friends or family. These ones are from Waitrose. And that's it, we're all finished. This is my ultimate favourite cupcake recipe because it's just so easy to do but it really really tastes great as well. Thank you so much for watching and if you liked the video be sure to subscribe. Bye!